Volvo vehicles utilize a starting switch knob that can be placed into a few different status or modes. You'll need these specific modes when maintaining, servicing, or performing diagnostics. We're often asked, why can I read live data stream but bi-directional functions don't work? That is simply because the vehicle's in the wrong mode. Once inside the car, you can make a number of choices regarding vehicle status or mode. This is similar to switching the old style ignition switch to accessory, first click or run, second click, or spring-loaded cranking position. Vehicle states in modern Volvo models are known as usage modes. These modes are somewhat more elaborate in their functions than the old ignition switch positions. Resting or abandon mode. Engine knob in the stop position. No vehicle or internal network activity. Vehicle awaits, inputs, or activation. Inactive. Engine knob in stop position. Similar to resting mode. Limited number of functions, such as radio, may be used without electronic key being present. Convenience. Engine knob held in start position for one second. Comfort and convenience functions, climate control, windows operation, etc., available. In this mode, control module data stream may be available for some systems. However, fault code reading and clearing may not function. Be sure to use active mode. Electronic key must be present. Active. Engine knob held in start position for five seconds. Most functions except engine power are available. Electronic key must be present. Be sure to use this mode for parking brake service mode, fault code clearing, or any other service functions. Drive. Engine knob held in start position, brake pedal depressed. Drivetrain is activated and vehicle can be driven. Electronic key must be present. Now remember, when servicing any vehicle with a smart key, keep it stored and away from the vehicle to prevent unwanted ignition mode events. Thanks for watching. See you next time.